Hello everyone. I want to share something important with you guys. Actually, I am going to make a video series on Ruku's R510 access points. Which will be comprised of all the videos, which I am going to mention below regarding Ruku's R510 access point. I will make these videos while I will be practicing on the test network. The videos that I will be getting prepared one by one are as follows. 1. Unboxing slash unpacking of a Roku's R510 access point. 2. Basic configurations of a new Roku's R510 access point. 3. How to restore or reset a Roku's R510 access point to factory default settings via web interface and via SSH. 4. How to hard reset a Roku's R510 access point to factory default settings. 5. How to update the Solo AP firmware to a new latest available firmware via web interface. 6. How to configure FTP server on Windows operating system. 7. How to update the Solo firmware to a new latest available firmware using FTP via web interface and SSH command line interface. 8. How to downgrade a Solo AP firmware to an old version of the firmware using web access. 9. How to downgrade a Solo AP firmware to an old version of the firmware using FTP via web interface and SSH command line interface. 10. Difference between the Solo AP firmware and an unleashed firmware. 11. How to upgrade a Solo AP firmware to unleashed firmware using web interface. 12. How to upgrade a Solo AP firmware to unleashed firmware using FTP via web interface and via SSH command line interface. 13. Basic configurations of an unleashed access point or unleashed network. 14. How to add a member access point to join an unleashed network. 15. How to create Wi-Fi networks or SSIDs on a master access point in an unleashed network. 16. How to downgrade the unleashed firmware to an old version of unleashed firmware. 17. How to downgrade the unleashed firmware back to a solo AP firmware using FTP via SSH command line interface. 18. Other relevant videos which I think will be important to share with you guys. So, if you want me to do the hard work and get ready all these above mentioned videos and share with you guys. Then please let me know in the comments section below. I would request you to please, like, share and subscribe my channel. It will motivate me to continue the hard work for you, while preparing all these videos. Thanks for your time.